peace 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 love and light my star family welcome back um again here um so i'm gonna speak on the fourth dimension um just my take on it um yeah the fourth dimension as far as what what it is the misconception that no such thing as it being a five d five dimension or a fifth dimension uh basically uh just highlighting what fourth dimension really is um as far as from like just a logical standpoint and just from what i've seen from what i've like i could tell you from what i've physically seen and received intelligence from the future or from the fourth dimension and somewhat higher dimensions too i mean but i but as far as like fourth dimensional in fourth dimension, what it really is in a nutshell is basically um, fourth dimension is where it's basically a realm, obviously one realm higher than this realm right here in particular, um, a lot brighter, more vibrant, a lot more energy and a lot more intelligence passes forward in there, a lot more faster, more rapid. Um, as far as here, information and intelligence is split up into black and white or what they call it. Um, information is split up into good and bad um everything as far as in the fourth dimension um uh, everything is basically extended meaning time is more extended um time is eternal meaning you don't die pretty much um for the people who weren't created here then that that applies to us not to anyone else because we aren't creations of this planet we are just projections that have been put through the, the, the sun projector, solar projector. We've been casted in here, um, casted down 13, 12 dimensions, 12 dimensions down, but 13 total, starting from the outer dimensional. But um, in retrospect to fourth dimension, um, going back to fourth dimension, the fourth dimension really is just a place where, uh, like I said, we will be bought back in more extended versions versions of ourselves as of right now will look the same but will be more extended and like the future self and the past selves will all align up and more of like a puzzle because i mean that's just like a more more or less our past and our future are pretty much just puzzle pieces that add up until our life pretty much of energy we are energy so in, in the fourth dimension because we as who we truly are um we'll, we'll be able to basically extend higher and higher into higher dimensions like for like, like for example the fourth dimension the eighth dimension and the twelfth dimension those are the ones we'll, we'll be able to extend higher and higher a lot of us might get trapped in between different dimensions depending on what we're truly here for a lot of us might get trapped in odd dimensions maybe fifth six seven eighth but as far as like us getting getting to the fifth dimension um it won't happen like that everything happens in fours the way everything's set up in here numerically is in fours so we've already had to go through three dimensions just to get to the fourth dimension and then from there on out it'll be four eight and twelve but a lot of people who travel the roads inter interdimensionally and outer dimensionally will get some of them some of the people just might not be able to go into higher dimensions because they're not it's not meant for them to be like that but strictly on fourth dimension though fourth dimension um like i said i personally from what i've seen as far as um just visions because telepathy is strong and you're able to pick up the frequencies from the atmosphere and pull pull basically you're like a, a lightning rod pulling in information and pulling in the intelligence that's being that's put out here for all of us to pick up but when a lot of us have broken antennas or are broken antennas they can't receive a, a damn signal which is a spark of intelligence a spark of light that gives you ideas or that they can let you see and to be able to create so for example um my particular experience that i had um this, this was in a dream um and i also had it while i was conscious like i was aware I was active. Um, the dream that I had, um, this is set in the future, but I, but I seen like, just for example, I've seen, I saw um, 
either the third dimension or whatever dimension I was currently in in the dream. I was uh, I saw it cracking open, re revealing a, a higher dimension, more or less like um, just the atmosphere from what I've seen compared to our atmosphere. And the one I was viewing it from was a lot more brighter than the one I was viewing it from. So as far as that, for example, like it was just more and more. I've, I've had plenty more experiences where, and just it's, it's just a lot, a lot that I can't really share. But it, it's real. It's real shit. People will say, "Oh, you, you're just imagining stuff," but no, you are able to look. We we have the ability to look into different dimensions or receive the intelligence from different dimensions that's, that's being being down every time from the 12th dimension is it, it, being more watered the signal and frequency is being watered down for us to be able to pick it up because we can't receive anything on the 9th 10th or 11th dimension or just the 12th dimension period we we wouldn't be able to receive it or understand what what what's being projected towards us or told to us so even right now, people say, "Yeah, I'm I'm looking into the ninth dimension, but I'm I'm ninth dimensionally thinking." But you don't even know what the fourth dimension is. It's all about the fourth. That's the next, and then from there it's eight and twelve. That that's like I said, four four in, and eight more to go. Four, eight, and twelve. Everything is numerically ran in fours. The Masons say, "Stand on your square." Squares have four sides and four angles. Fourth dimension, three dimension, and anything else that they trying to basically do to snuff out the fourth dimension is BS, and and it's logical. I just broke it down to you whether whether you want to sit up here and say shenanigans to hell with you. I don't care. But in everything, there are twelve months. There are three blocks of four. Twelve dimensions. We are we are only in the third dimension. At the end of the third dimension, we're heading to, we're heading towards the fourth dimension. We're, we're closely every every year. <laughs> I would say we have less than what 30, 40 years left. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I'm back, but as I was saying, the the fourth dimension is pretty much um, it is as far as what we know, the term um, well, as far as from what I've learned from and from what I've gained and understood, just from just from what, um, like I said, just past experiences um, and what I've grown to know. The fourth dimension is basically um, like, and from my experience that I had as far as the, the, the dream and just different ideas. Well, I've, I've, I've received ideas that are on this next level. It, you, you probably would look at it and be like, how, how did you, how did you receive this kind of, because it's real. You have to open yourself up. These are here to help you receive you are like i said you are a lightning rod or an antenna that basically pulls in energy and from the atmosphere and from the sun that's why i love sunbathing and i love sun gazing because I, I get i get the ideas flowing and it's like they're always coming in and the fact that with, with these these different types of um tools that i've, I've not made for myself as far as um you know necklace wear stuff like that they also help in giving more energy uh, allow me to pull in more pull in more energy from the atmosphere sometimes it's it's, it's intense because how much and, and this is all from just being able to tap into that that ether what, what's around you what what you can do to manipulate the energy around you that, that's, that's all i keep saying people like y'all really have to ultra ultra stand like you have to manipulate energy whether like I do for me, I, I Tai Chi, I, I do a lot of stuff, but as far as in the fourth dimension, let me just go back on topic, sorry. <laughs> um, but as far as the fourth dimension, um, that's that's what we'll be able to do. We'll be more advanced and quicker, more quicker to pick up on intelligence, to be able to create, to be able to um, extend ourselves forward, basically by intelligence and inventions that we, we, we actually are able to create to extend the planet as a whole and to move us forward with the planet as we're constantly basically receiving more information from beyond, from on high, from higher dimensions. It's always being beamed down here. How do you think we went from having cars and cell phones in like within, from the 20th century and moving forward, but prior to that, we didn't have any of that. That's just the, that's another, another point I'm talking about is intelligence. We can pick up on, everyone can pick it up on that, that's here on this planet. Well, a lot of us have broken antennas. Other races can pick it up too. 
because they are they are a part of us but fourth dimension wise it's more or less um they can't leave here they're going to be stuck in the third dimension forever and ever being recycled as generations or generators to generate third dimension and keep the energy from there being constantly going while in the fourth dimension will we as carbon beings and celestial energy beings will be able to live forward forever and ever constantly moving the fourth dimension and then being able to move out out of dimension too once we get to, get to a certain point there but um as far as um what else the fourth dimension is um like i said it's it's, it's a very it's a lot different from here it's not the same it's totally totally not the same you guys couldn't have fathomed more and just imagine a glimpse of it you say but you tell me that you guys have tried to astral project or astral travel but what was the purpose for when you travel dimensions there has to be a purpose so for people who want to travel to the fourth dimension you have to have a purpose as to why you're traveling you, you can't just do it because say it or want to do it for any childish or like immature way because it has to be a purpose what are you there for but I, I, I can't tell you that because I know what what what's the, the goal in the job is development, development and keeping law and order. And basically the yeah, development and developmental order. I mean developmental law and order. That's that's just one extended version of what the true point of it is. But um like I said you, you have to have a reason why you have you want to go to the fourth dimension or why you want to travel higher in inner and outer dimensionally. Why? What's your purpose? A lot of us don't can't even answer that question right now because we're still stuck in the third dimension with a mindset with with a mindset, but not with any intelligence being grabbed from any dimension higher. What what can you show to prove that you have witnessed or are ninth dimensionally, ninth dimensionally in tuned. What can you prove and show? I can show plenty of things and basically explain. But the point being is, don't fall for these videos of hey, you know, you got to live in six D or seven D or five D. No, that's fake. <laughs> that's that's a, a, a wad of baloney. We are fourth dimensional beings and higher. We we move in fours, four, eight, and twelve. 4, 8, and 12. 12 months. Common sense. But um, stand on your square. Stand on your square is what the Masons say. I'm going to end it right here. Peace, love, and light, my star family. I'm out of here. Peace.